Today, we are going to talk about an important topic that concerns all parents and caregivers the impact of newborn baby diarrhea. We're here to provide you with essential information on its reasons, causes, symptoms, and appropriate treatments. Before we begin, if you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel and hitting the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future informative videos. What is newborn baby diarrhea? First, let's understand what newborn baby diarrhea is. Diarrhea is characterized by frequent, loose, or watery stools. In newborns, it is often a sign of an underlying issue that needs attention. Keep in mind that breastfeed babies may have more frequent bowel movements compared to formula-fed infants, which is entirely normal. However, if you notice an increase in frequency or a drastic change in stool consistency, it's essential to pay attention. Reasons and Causes Several factors can lead to diarrhea in infants. One of the most common causes is viral or bacterial infections. Gastrointestinal viruses, like rotavirus, can affect young babies, leading to loose stools. Moreover, bacterial infections from contaminated food or water may also cause diarrhea. Another common cause is food intolerance or allergy. Sometimes, a baby's digestive system might be sensitive to certain proteins found in formula or breast milk, leading to diarrhea. Additionally, improper sterilization of feeding equipment and unclean bottle preparation can introduce harmful bacteria into a baby's system. Symptoms Recognizing the symptoms of newborn baby diarrhea is vital for early intervention. Besides frequent, loose, or watery stools, other signs to look out for include Dehydration Check for signs such as dry mouth, fewer tears when crying, sunken fontanelles, the soft spots on the baby's head, and reduced urine output. Irritability If your baby is unusually fussy and seems more uncomfortable than usual, it could be related to diarrhea. Fever Sometimes, diarrhea can be accompanied by a mild fever, which is the body's response to infection. Impact over newborn The impact of newborn baby diarrhea can be significant, especially on the baby's health. Diarrhea can lead to dehydration, which is one of the primary concerns. Newborns are more susceptible to dehydration as they have limited fluid reserves. When they experience frequent loose stools, their bodies lose essential fluids and electrolytes rapidly. If not addressed promptly, dehydration can become severe and may require medical intervention. Furthermore, diarrhea can lead to malnutrition as the baby may not be absorbing necessary nutrients properly due to the rapid transit of food through the gastrointestinal tract. This can affect the baby's growth and development potentially causing weight loss and delayed milestones. The impact of newborn baby diarrhea extends beyond the physical aspects. Watching your little one suffer can be distressing and worrisome. The constant monitoring and care required during this time can cause stress and anxiety in parents. Preventive Measures While dealing with newborn baby diarrhea can be challenging, there are measures to help prevent its occurrence or manage it effectively. Here are some tips. Ensure proper hygiene. Wash hands thoroughly before handling the baby and during diaper changes to minimize the risk of infection. Breastfeeding. If possible, exclusive breastfeeding for the first six months can help reduce the risk of diarrhea as breast milk contains essential nutrients and antibodies. Proper formula preparation. If using formula, follow the instructions for proper sterilization and mixing to prevent contamination. Seek medical advice. If your baby experiences diarrhea, contact your pediatrician immediately for guidance and appropriate treatment. Treatment. If you suspect your newborn has diarrhea, it's essential to contact your pediatrician immediately. 
They will provide personalized advice based on your baby's specific condition. However, here are some general tips to manage newborn baby diarrhea. Hydration Ensure your baby drinks plenty of fluids, such as breast milk or oral rehydration solutions, ORS, to prevent dehydration. Diet If your baby is formula-fed, your doctor might recommend switching to a hypoallergenic formula or making adjustments to the mother's diet if breastfeed. Probiotics In some cases, your pediatrician may suggest probiotics to help restore the balance of good bacteria in the gut. Medication Never give over-the-counter medication to infants without consulting a doctor first. Always consult your pediatrician if you notice any changes in your baby's bowel movements or behavior. We hope you found this information helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with other parents who might benefit from it. Stay tuned for more informative content.